And now whenever anything happens, especially if it's concerning white people, people of color call it racist. Homosexuals call it racist. The children, everybody call it racist, right? And it's evil. It's really evil. This is from, uh, and I want to give you an example of what I'm talking about. This is from WFLA. A journalist claims she was abused, racially profiled by cops. Then the video came out, comes out, and it's a different story, folks. Here's a song by on a woman by the name of uh, Jenny Monette, or Monette, Monette, and the journalist who claimed, who claimed racism. Watch this. Native American rights says she was racially profiled when a liquor store refused to sell her wine. She also claimed police brutality when deputies showed up to the scene because she was causing a scene. Jenny Monet was poised as she spoke at the Institute of American Indian Arts in Santa Fe this morning. And that's journalism today. A totally different look from last Friday. You racist mother you white supremacist. When she was arrested for DWI at a Santa Fe liquor store on Old Pecos Trail after the store refused to sell her wine, claiming she appeared drunk. Isn't that amazing? Even the Indians lie. And they lie on white people because it's so acceptable to lie on white people, to call it racist. That's why they need blacks to act like everything is racist. So if they are racist against blacks, they have to be racist against the Indians. And everybody know Indians and alcohol don't mix. <laughs> just like the peace pipe didn't mix. Didn't mix because they didn't build America. They just sat around. But anyway, that's why they need black people. This woman is not a decent, honest woman. She's evil. She pretended the police were racist, police brutality, brutality. She claimed uh, white racism or whatever she did, claimed racism. Because you could say that about the white people, no one's going to question it. Surveillance video obtained show Monique pulling up to the store and goes into the store inside there. But she, uh, and she was refused service because she appeared to be drunk. Then she went back out to her car uh, and started screaming and making obscene gestures toward the staff. All that left out. Here's that sound bite. We obtained that footage showing exactly what was described immediately after the confrontation. Both she and the staff called for deputies. Okay. Have you been drinking at all tonight? No. Okay. How come I can smell really strong odor of alcohol? She claimed she was racially profiled. How are they racially profiling you is what I'm trying to get at. Because I'm a brown woman. Do you not okay. see that? Monet refused field sobriety tests and grew angry. Listen, I'm not walking stop. any line for you. Okay. You hear me? Listen. I am not walking any line for you. Then she was arrested. You're, Police brutality! You're Police brutality! You're Police brutality. You're you no. fat finger. Isn't that something? That's why you can't believe all these lies that you see on TV with the colored people and the police folks, especially when they're white cops. That's why you, that's a nasty, dirty woman. I pity the man that if she's married with her and the, and the children, if she has any, she will destroy them. And all they have to do is blame the white cops and show it on TV and everybody go, oh, no, police brutality. This woman wouldn't admit that she was just, she was drunk, drunk. <laughs> James said, she was just drunk, cut her some slack. She didn't know what she was doing. She was, she, when she cried, police brutality, of course. And I got, and I have an Afro. See, folks, you can't believe I'm telling you it's a spiritual issue. And white people, do what you want. But you need to start speaking up. 
and and the white men, you need to speak up for the white women and children because they're afraid to do it. It's so amazing. Ah, a spiritual battle. And white people, as long as you are afraid, it's like saying, yes, you are all these names that these people are calling you in your own country. If it wasn't for white people, there would be no America. There would be no South Africa. There would be no Europe. And wherever else the white folks are. And you let these people in your country to do this to you. Send them back to their asshole country. Send that woman back to wherever the Indian live. She doesn't deserve to be in America. She's a hater. 